a short introductory message. June 28, 2013. Note from Wes. As I pondered the reason for the San aspect of Sanja's cause name, I found myself connecting with an Arcturian entity who went simply by the name of San. He represented himself as being of the Arcturian councils, without referencing a specific council. I've come to the conclusion that he works with all of them, without favoring one specifically. I've really never connected with the Arcturians or brought through a message from them, but the connection was as strong and I had a wonderful initial conversation with San before deciding to scribe a short message from him. In this message, he speaks for the Arcturian councils. With loving greetings from every soul speaking to you currently, I am San of the Arcturian Councils of the Galactic Federation. This scribe has not brought through Arcturian energy before, and is adjusting to my specific frequency of energy. I exist on the fifth dimension, just as many of the Pleiadian souls who speak through this channel do. I'm working to understand mastery in its purest form just as many of you are, and I hold routine consultations with many of you on the earth, in an effort to assist you along your paths. As has been said by so many channeled sources, service to others becomes one's main focus and goal upon growing into the fifth dimension. Many of you are already beginning to understand the importance of serving others and serving yourselves in a healthy and balanced manner, rather than feeding out of balanced or service to self-based mindsets. We've walked your planet. Serving oneself has driven all of the greed and misfortune experienced and fed on your dear earth, and every soul on your planet is to learn in the time ahead that solely serving oneself will never bear the personal satisfaction and completeness that spread from serving another. We of the Arcturian Council seek to help you all understand the pure signatures of love being sent your way by various beings and collectives in the higher dimensions, and we recognize that plenty of souls on your earth still have trouble believing in the reality of our communications or the fact that we exist and wish to assist you along your evolution. Despite the disbelief in much of your collective surrounding our existence, we've been with you since the days of your societies of Atlantis and Lemuria, and indeed, even far before. We've walked your planet with each one of you, and we've worked to actively assist in your ordained evolution. We, like so many others, have given ourselves fully to the restoration of your dearest Earth and to the ascension of this universe. One of our biggest aims in connecting with humanity is to make you aware of and assist you along your aforementioned collective evolution. What this Earth is experiencing is quite rare as very few collective ascensions have happened in recent history and your Earth is indeed leading the way in the universal ascension taking place. Each of us speaking to humanity through scribes and assisting you in your evolution into the fifth dimension, are also evolving and growing into further understandings and realms of Source ourselves, as we work to assist you in growing into realms we've long traversed and are beginning to exit. All will benefit from the universal ascension. Of course, the growth of each of us individuals and collectives in the higher dimensions is just as unique as it is on your dearest Earth, but all are to benefit from the ascension of the universe. The universal ascension is to be largely assisted by the ascension of the Earth, as your planet has long been shrouded in darkness and lower dimensionality of extreme proportions. Gaia made the call for we and so many others to focus ourselves upon her and your collective whenever the actions of those you've known as the Cabals were taken to extreme heights, and every one of you can perhaps be familiar with or remember, even if only slightly, your own response to this clarion call of sorts. We trust that many of you are beginning to uncover and remember plenty of memories from your various lives on the earth and your various ventures in the higher dimensions, and when we say this, we don't mean that we expect brazen memories to be available to you in this moment. Rather, we refer to faint impressions that seem to be of a familiar nature, which will come to you in the blink of an eye and can be easily forgettable. You've been receiving glimpses and impressions of previous encounters and lives on your dear Earth for so very long, and you've received faint impressions and visions regarding your various other worldly travels before you made your way to the surface of the Earth. In conclusion, our scribe has requested we keep this initial communication short enough, 
and so we will make our final impressions for this communication with immense appreciation for the active service you're each performing for the ascension of the earth. You're the souls on the front lines of serving humanity, and you're helping strongly to initiate the ascension of this universe. Your strength as divine, spiritual beings cannot be expressed enough. Thank you to Sun and the Arcturian Councils. Channeled through Wes Anak. Wesanak.com. AquariusParadigm.com